What up, Brother Jones here, and I'm here to talk about the archetype that everybody's low-key sleeping on, but we know deep down it's going to be the OP build. One of the OP builds, and that's the pure sharpshooter. Every single 2K we play, shooting has been over the top, or you've been able to hit a lot of shots, especially last year. Even in uh, 16, you can, you know what I'm saying, you can hit the greens pretty easily if you had an outside sharp and 15 also the green releases was ridiculous in 15 so 18 almost said 17 18 they gonna do the same thing and now with the, this bill right here let me tell you something bro this bill right here yes it don't have that much speed but do you really need speed when you're pulling from limitless range if you literally come up the court in green Ain't no dribble moves needed. Offers no dribble moves needed. You don't have to speed boost. Literally, all you, got, you know, how, yeah, everybody knows how annoying a sharp is. When the person, they're easy to clamp up, but so for some reason, they always end up scoring like 15 points. Why? Because if you don't literally follow the sharp everywhere he go, like tunnel the sharp, He's going to get a shot off most of the time, even if you're in his face. How many times y'all didn't y'all didn't think y'all locked up a sharp and he still popped the three in your face? Because he had a little space and then his his little Hall of Fame deep brain dead eye kicked in, so it didn't really matter. Exactly. Now in this game, you can hit smothered three. You can hit a contested three. Like literally, you can literally be highly contested and hit a green. So imagine this deep range. Hall of Fame Dead Eye and Limitless Range together, com comboing. This is gonna be nasty in the park. Now, you can do a couple builds with this. Now, I'm gonna show you some Curry highlights. Yeah, it's 2KU, and some people think it's on Rookie. But, I mean, you can't, Zaza ain't pulling from deep, you feel me? You can't pull this deep with uh, Draymond. This is his actual range. This is his actual range. So look, around this, it's fair game that's deep bro that's pretty deep now imagine that part the part three point line is a lot closer it ain't got this much space pure sharps and prime look at that look at that bro pure sharps and pro-am are gonna be crazy man look at this i'm way of course in real life you're gonna you know what i'm saying you're gonna guard up close because he's a pure sharp but if you forget strong <laughs> look at a little and they got so they took away the grandmas, but if you're hot and you green, I think you do an animation. If you're hot and you do a green release, I think you get the animation just like how they used to do. So that's that's the thing that's kind of decent. That's pretty decent. Hold on. Look, you know what I'm saying? You get the space going. I'll probably step up a little bit. Let me step up a little bit. Strong! <laughs> Bro, you can literally... Gr the, the, Hall of Fame Limitless is always going to be overpowered. They can't nerf that badge. I mean, they, if they nerf it, it ain't fair. If y'all remember last year, I'm going to show a clip later in the video. Last year around the... Look, you can even off the dribble deep from deep range. If I don't know if Pierce Sharps have difficult shots. But listen to me. If Pierce Sharps have difficult shots on goal, it's over with. Because you don't need the speed boost. You literally can zigzag and take an off contested three from way deep and green because you have gold difficult. it makes a whole lot of difference man it makes a whole lot of difference you don't all fast breaks sharps are dominant sharps are dominant all fast break now another now the heights let's talk about heights for a second if you want to stretch big low key i say make a 610 small forward rather than going with that stretch if you want to make a guard, I mean, I think a guard wouldn't be bad. I think maybe a 6'4", six, 6'5", six, guard. You know what I'm saying? That'd be good. I don't think I wouldn't. I don't think I would have a run the one. I don't think a sharp, a pure sharp needs to be the two. So anywhere between 6'4 and 6'7", I think is a good build. Last year I had a 6'8 sharp. I loved him because he was tall. He can play D. He can get rebounds. And he can shoot. He did everything I wanted him to do. Now, some people prefer, you know what I'm saying? Now, 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 now let me compare something real quick. Now, everybody want to do the play shooter. This is, that's the first build I'm probably going with, the play shooter. 
playmaking first, three point second. Because I just want to see before I make my pure shard. I, I, I want to make the pure. I'm going to make a pure shard. Maybe on my second account. But I want. I do want to see the, track. the difference. I want to see if if dribbling is really hyped up like it is last year. Cause I, I low key want to learn how to dribble and all that stuff. Cause that's what that's what y'all like seeing. Y'all like seeing dribbling. Obviously, I like seeing momentum spams and all, even though it doesn't do anything. You don't need the momentum spam. Like, honestly, the hardest people to guard was the aqua people, the people that didn't have dribble moves and that zigzag. Those are the people who was kind of weird to guard because you ain't know what they was about to do. The people who just doing the same combos as everybody else. There are the rhythm five and the, I mean the normal five and the elite one. I mean you know where they was going. You know they either gonna go left or right. Zigzag cheese, you don't really know. They can do some little awkward spin thing and then they somehow get by you. Trust me, I played with a 55 over. I did it to a plenty of superstars. Plenty of them. Plenty. I've gotten by so many people by not even doing a dribble move. Even on my shark. It's just, it's all you gotta do is dribble awkward. You don't even have to speed boost. Speed boosting is overrated. High key. Now, the thing I don't understand is why everybody is sleeping on the pure sharp. And also, why everybody's sleeping on the shot. The sharp maker. The sharp maker got all these gold badges. Yeah, you can't speed boost. But he's faster than the pure sharp. And he can shoot just as well. Low key, that might be even that might be another build that's pretty good. The three point and ball control. Yeah, you can't do the cheese. You can't do the cheese. But you can still shoot gold limitless. All those badges you see are gold. I don't know what the other ones are. Probably Dimer and I don't know. But let me take a let me show y'all last year. Last year before they start patching stuff, this is like the week one of the game. You see, we couldn't do that at the end of the game unless you were hot. I wasn't even hot and I was pulling a full bar at the half four line on the side. If y'all do that right now in 2K17, it's gonna be a little smaller bar. They nerfed it. But in the beginning of the game, before they start nerfing stuff, it was cool. It was perfect right there. It was cool, and this is what I feel like the sharps this year are gonna be doing. I feel like the pure sharps are gonna have range like this, off rip. As soon as you get Hall of Fame, this is this is what it's gonna be. And because I don't think nobody's really gonna make pure sharps, the pure sharps gonna stand out because nobody made it. Nobody gonna make pure sharps. They gonna make. They gonna follow where every other YouTube doing. Shot creator and playmaking. They gonna do the little shot maker. Everybody gonna do this. You're gonna see a million shot makers in the park just cuz everybody else doing it They don't you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm literally I'm just trying to show y'all different builds man You ain't gotta stop focusing on speed boosting the game is deeper than speed boosting and being a dribble guy You don't have to be a dribble guy. You feel me to get buck. You can drop somebody off literally they just 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 playing you know what I'm saying? It real, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta sit there and spam the combos. I know y'all want to. It's fun. I got you. But you don't have to. Play shooter. Play shooter is what I'm going with though. I just want to test it out. I just want to test it out. I low key think I'm probably. I don't even know if that's gonna be a good build, but I'm testing out because that's the underdog build. The dominant build is everybody picking shot maker. I want. I might make a pure sharp on my second account. Cause I already know it's gonna be a good bill. It's all sharps. Sharps are always a good bill. Hall of Fame Limitless is pretty deep. It's gonna be deep, just like what y'all seeing right here. This is the first we get a game, man. Before before the sharp wave came, before everybody started making sharp shooters, I was one of the first people to have it. Right? Well, I'm telling you, when I was in park, I I didn't see anybody with a sharp shooter. I, everybody had playmakers and shot creators. Everybody hit playmaking and shot creators, but let me know what y'all think, man. What archetypes y'all making? What y'all think about the pure sharp and the big, you know, the bills I've been talking about in this video, man? Make sure to leave a like. Until next video, I'll see y'all then, man. Peace.